Hi there, this is Gina with Back Bay Botanicals, and I have in front of me a uh, example of our first harvest for the year. This is our first attempt at flower farming, and I wanted to take a time to um, give you guys some ideas and resources if you're looking to start your own flower farm and uh, what has been helpful for me. So we're located in Virginia Beach, Virginia. The name of our farm is Back Bay Botanicals, and we've been um, flower farming for about six months now. So I'm just going to give you an overview of some books that have helped me. Um, the first book is The Flower Farmer by Lynn Bysinski. If you can only get one book, or if you want to start out with just one book, this is the book to buy. Um, you can buy all these I'm going to recommend here at Amazon.com. But this one is uh, really exceptional in motivating you and getting you to understand what's involved with the entire process from starting your first seed to planting the, se planting the plants out in the field to um, keeping them weed free and then harvesting them and preserving them and selling them to florists. Or if you're going to sell them at farmer's markets, it also talks about that as well. So... Um, the great thing that she she does so well is she's got just a ton of pictures and she interviews a lot of people that are successful at flower farming to give you some insider tips. Um, and she even goes, you know, to interview people that are specializing in one type of flower or they could have 200 different types of flowers on their farm. So uh, if you're looking for the motivation and some really cool information. Lynn does a great job at her book. Uh, one of my favorite aspects is the fact that she highlights the top 10 flowers of your region, the top 10 most profitable flowers. So, um, and then the next step, once you figure out what the top 10 flowers are, then you want to get this book, which is Specialty Cut Flowers by Alan Armitage. And he details, okay, so Lynn told you sunflowers. All right, so now we want to figure out out of the 10,000 types of sunflowers, which one does best in your area. He interviews people as well to, t to really tell you a lot of the insider tips that, that you won't get by uh, just reading the back of a flower, um, flower package. So he really tells you a lot of details. You'll have this book open uh, every day in the springtime trying to figure out, okay, does this seed germinate best without light or in the dark, what temperature, how much moisture, what type of insects are going to try to attack this plant. So invaluable resource. If you're looking to at all tackle uh, for florists growing for florists woody cut stems or foliage, um, for instance bushes and trees, then this is such a great resource because it's very similar to the specialty cut flowers where it goes into much more detail. It interviews people that are doing it in the field. They're really uh, in the trenches and um, to tell you the pros and the cons, whether it be, okay, this, this plant grows great in this type of environment. The con is that there's tons of bugs that love it and it'll tell you um, what to look out for. So those three books all on Amazon, uh, highly recommend them. The next one is if you're trying to keep things organic, then Elliot Coleman does a wonderful job at telling you about some um, resources, whether it be fertilizers or even starting your own seedling mix of how to keep things organic. So he's classic, really. If you, if you know anything about organic gardening, he is the man, so to speak. Um, so once you've figured out what type of flowers you're going to grow, the next step is getting... A commercial seed catalog and this one is what I highly recommend for anyone in my area they are based out of South Carolina and uh, literally I'll order seeds on Monday and have them in my uh, mailbox by Wednesday and instead of going to someplace like Home Depot or Walmart where you'll get 20 seeds for two dollars and here you'll get you know for 20 bucks you'll get a couple thousand of seeds so just invaluable resource it even highlights which varieties um, are best for cut flowers by a little cut flower symbol. Um, but you can just go through this catalog and you know circle and highlight 
all the plants that, that you want to purchase um, the following season and uh, it's great. Also, I wouldn't dare tell anyone to have a flower farm unless they could get a drip irrigation system and plastic rows down. Um, maybe for certain types of, of plants you don't have to have the the rows but you definitely have to have the drip irrigation just a total lifesaver and um, the people here at Berry Hill we drove there when we were first starting it took about two hours to figure out what all our farm needed to be successful with getting drip irrigation installed so every morning it's watered automatically for us for one hour and it shuts off automatically and we could install um, we have a drip irrigation line which just automatically fertilizes with fish emulsion every two weeks as well so people here are awesome they'll help you out seed catalog and the books that you'll need so hope that hopefully that helps you guys and if you have any more questions feel free to email me at backbaybotanicals at yahoo.com thank you